They fucking do. Just make our watermark a big nipple. Why would I do that? Just like a giant boob. Well, it's that or a giant penis, and I'd prefer a boob. Or I'd it just a seems logo. just seems less gay. How about our watermark be you with a dick going through both of your ears? That sounds seems pretty gay. We already had this discussion about dicks in the ears. <laughs> dick in the eriosis. It's an epidemic. <coughs> we need to get the word out. All these poor people with dicks in their ears. You can't hear shit. That and, I, that and I imagine having your dick stuck in somebody's ear would be pretty damn painful too. I should have a really like, like skinny dick. Like, nope, there's plenty of room in here. It's sort of like, uh, sort of like the Civil War when they used to, they used to clean it, they used to pack the powder with the, with the metal rod down the muzzle of the musket. That's what it's like. I'm packing earwax. Cleaning out the ear canals. With my skinny dick. Keeper. Man, we're going to take this tournament in no time. No time whatsoever. I don't even know who I'm playing right now. But the logo looks like a ball on fire. So I am going to call them the Comets. Thank you. Over your head. Bam! Right side net. Over your head. And in the net. Oh my god, he did it again. How does that sound gay? That wasn't the gay voice, that was like a redneck voice. They don't sound like a redneck, because rednecks are funny. Every other talk, yo! Howdy! And yet somehow country music is respected and rap music's not. Apparently all rap music talks about is money, hoes, and uh, money, hoes, and popping bottles. Oh, that's pretty much it. Well, all country talks about is growing corn, riding tractors, and fucking driving big Ford trucks around, and how much we hate they hate Obama. So you know what I say? Fuck you. That and broken hearts. They sing a lot about that too. People always say they hate when rappers, they just talk about their writ, their money, and and shit. Well, you realize the majority of rappers came from neighborhoods and came from a lifestyle where that was not, not, nothing more than a figment of goddamn dream from where they came from. Like, they were dirt poor people before they finally got their record deals and finally got, you know, the lifestyle that they dreamed of having for so many years. So, if I had that opportunity, you're damn right I'd rub that shit in everybody's face that said I was never going to make anything of myself. I'd be like, look at me, I came from nothing, and look, I've got fucking spinning rims on a goddamn jet ski, because I want them. Talk about this shit all the time. Pretty sure anybody else would too. The only reason they talk bad about it is because they don't have that money. They don't have those things. They don't have diamond studded pools or, you know, Cadillacs with 24 inch chrome rims. They make fun of them, but you know they'd take one if they could. Do I really need to make a video of me going on another elite rant about rap music? Huh? I made a elite rant before, by accident. But you're damn right if I ever do one again, that's what I'm going to call it.
I'm going to have to make it 13 minutes and 37 seconds, and we're going to call it the Leet Rants. Because it was Leet. Because I give, like, the calmest rants ever. But that's the key to giving a good rant. You don't want to get too... It might not be considered maybe a rant to some people, to the, the stereotypical view of a rant. You don't want to get too heated when you're ranting, when you're trying to explain your, support your point of view and counteract or uh, disagree with somebody else's views. You gotta, uh, you, know, you gotta be calm about it. You don't want to just bout names, calling, and that just makes you, that just makes you fit the stereotypical uh, view that they've, that they've thought of, you know, in their own minds. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to the cat. I'm talking to the microphone, not you, so you don't have to listen. Well, that's fine, but, you know, you can't just go crazy. And you gotta, you gotta acknowledge the other person's views as well. You can't just be biased in one direction, even if they are completely wrong. I made a slightly more highlighted circle. <laughs> you interrupted my, uh, my little spiel there, buddy. Nobody cares about your little spiel. That's not true. That wasn't even funny. So thank you for ruining that for me. No problem. That's my job. First, uh, Reed had to go and fucking send me a message in the middle of my video. <laughs> Been stalking me all day. I don't have Skype. I'm never getting Skype ever again. I'm gonna switch to Uvu or something. <laughs> Uvu? Did I win yet? Yep. Fuck, I got another match to play. Oh, you didn't win? Not yet. Hey, look at my circle. Hey, I don't care. Hey, this is potentially our logo. Nope, because we're not getting a logo. Well, we have to if we want to. Nope! Yep. No logos, because we just do this for fun. Right? Nope. <laughs> we're not about the money. We don't want money for what we do. We just We're just, we just record and do do all this work for absolutely no pay. For the fucking fun of it. God damn it. And uh, another thing, back on the music thing, I, I just, you know, I really, I understand if you don't like rap music, you don't like hip-hop or pop, you know, people like different kinds of music, there's all kinds of music out there for each and every person in the world to listen to, but if you don't like rap music, and you know you don't like rap music, then why do you need, that? that's fine, you know, I have no, nobody has a problem with that. You like rock and roll or country, you go off and you listen to that and you enjoy it and you'd be happy. We'll be happy with our hip hop and our rap and our other music genres. But when you take the time out of your day to be a little trolling little asshole, to go on an Eminem video, or go on a Lil Wayne video, when you already don't like rap and just make belligerent comments on how rap music sucks, it shouldn't be considered a music genre, yada yada yada, like it really is just a waste of time and it just, it just, it really just makes you look bad. And especially when you start getting into arguments with, you know, fans of the, of the artist or fans of the genre and you start calling them names and you start getting racist because you can hide behind a little computer screen. And it gives you a little bit of uh, a sense of empowerment that you can just sit behind your key sit at your keyboard and just type all kinds of shit and not have to face real consequences for your your actions. Um, it's really just it's pure stupidity, really, is what it is. And you're better off just going and being happy in your own life and leaving other people alone. And and that really goes for everything. Like. It, it can go for religion. I've seen a lot of things like in the religious uh, aspect of things where people, they have a certain view and they feel it's necessary for them to take their views and make fun of everybody else who believes something, you know, slightly or completely different. And I, I just, I don't understand what the thrill of it is. Like, why waste your time? Why bother if you believe you're right then go believe you're right you know and let those people burn in hell or wherever you believe they're going to end up 
but I mean, I, I, it just it causes nothing but disruption and and anger and unhappiness for everybody. It just it just brings people down, and there's no just no reason for it, in my opinion. It's just it's just stupid. It's a waste of time. Likewise, you know, if you believe there is no, no God or anything in the, in the atheist side of things, and that that's cool too, you know. But then you got the people who go and they decide to be assholes about it and just like make comments on everybody's everybody's religious views and everybody's religious videos on YouTube and just make fun of that and say you're crazy, you're loony, you're whoopie doopie toony. I don't know. <laughs> But, like, seriously, people, it's just, I don't know, just leave people alone, really. I mean, you're just wasting your own time when you could be out doing something productive, like, I don't know, proving the, proving the existence or non-existence of said spiritual being. You could be out trying to do that. Because that's what it really comes down to, is that nobody knows who's right or wrong. You, Regardless of what you believe, there's no definitive proof leaning towards any one side. So you can't sit there and make fun of other people for their beliefs when your side isn't 100% knowledgeable of its correctiveness. If that's a fucking word. <laughs> but you get what I'm playing at. I mean, that's... That's just, I guess, I, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm speaking philosophy right now by saying things like this. That's just how I choose to live my life. I, don't, I have my own beliefs in certain aspects and certain, uh, certain topics, but I don't put anybody else down or take the time out of my day to make others feel bad for, or, or inferior for their beliefs or their tastes. Um, because that's just, I don't know, that's just not who I am. That's not, I don't find fun in putting others others down um, for my, because they don't agree with my opinions, which are simply that, they're opinions. They're really no 100% no factual base. Like, these are it. These are the solid, concrete, only right things in the universe. That's, that's the whole part of an opinion. It's what one single person believes in their mind, and their mind, body, and soul to be true right in just so I don't know kind of ranting kind of tired but that I've said my piece on that just you know let people live their lives don't try to inter like you know interject your own opinions into other people's lifestyles or lives unless you know obviously if it's super self-destructive then then yeah, step in and you know maybe be like, hey, I might not. This might not be the best thing for you. Uh, heroin's not for everyone. Actually, heroin's not really for anybody. It's not good. You shouldn't be on drugs or anything like that. Yeah, if somebody's got that kind of lifestyle, please do step in and try to help them out. Even though obviously with people like that, you're not gonna be able to help them until they want help. But regardless. There are certain times when you should step in, but there are most of the time you should just leave people be. Hey, we won! Woo! Rub my tummy. What? No, my, the goalie key was rubbing my tummy. Alright, well we won that. How long have we been going? 40 minutes? Cool. Probably have time to complete, like, another few events, actually. Before I'm done for the evening. Oh, yeah, unlike Barcelona Stadium and the Asia All-Stars.